Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be taking you through my brow routine. So it dawned on me recently there, that there are certain things that I do off camera when I'm doing my makeup for a YouTube video. One of them is my brows. The other thing is my lashes and I have a video done on that as well and I'll link it up above whenever it's ready. But yeah, my brows are the other thing that I always do off camera because it's time consuming and it's boring. But then I thought maybe people might want to see that and I have really weird brows. So my brows kind of wreck my head, I won't lie. But I have kind of developed a couple of little techniques that works for me so I wanted to share those with you so if that seems like something you might be interested in then just keep watching so one really important point to note is that I have really blonde eyelashes and eyebrows and I get my eyebrows tinted or I tint them myself every other week so I actually have a video I'll pop it up here as to how I tint my eyebrows it's really really handy and it just helps me at this point like you know, that's me with tinted brows. I only got them done, like today is Saturday, I only got them done on Monday. And so this is me with tinted brows. You can imagine what I'd be like without the tint. It's just, it's really difficult to kind of find the shape that you need to fill in. So that is kind of point number one. And tip number one, if you've really, really light, blonde kind of eyebrows, get them tinted, it'll help you. And also, if I like, I can totally go out like this. I don't, I choose not to, but I can totally go out like this and not feel like I don't have any brows. So it's actually just something that's really handy to have done anyway. But it does assist me when I'm filling in my brows. My absolute ride or die product when it comes to brows is my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. Um, mine had a little accident. It broke, it smashed, but there was no way that I was letting that go in the bin. Not for the money I paid for it. And it's just so, so good. So I actually repotted it in into one of these little containers that I'd gotten another a sample in of some description and that's where it now lives and it's great because this is plastic so um, my previous one the, the normal one that it comes in is glass and that smashed on my tiles um, so I popped it into this and this can bounce all over the place and it's not gonna be harmed so that's that I'll pop in a picture here of the one that I use oh do I know the one that I use I'll have a I'll look it up and see and I'll pop in the picture and the shade of what I use when I bought this, I also bought the brush to go with it. And this for me is just the piece de resistance when it comes to doing your eyebrows. It has your spoolie on the end and it has your little angled brush on the other end. My process begins with me combing through my brows. My brows kill me, like they just break my heart because they naturally sit totally differently. And, and it drives me crazy when I go to get them done from somebody new and they're like, brows should be cousins not sisters or some bullshit like that i'm like no i want them to look the same i want my face to look symmetrical that's the whole idea <laughs> here it all it's quite thick and it's kind of like normal looking whereas here it's a little bit sparse and the actual brow hair grows higher than it does over here it's difficult to get them to match so you kind of just have to work as much as you can to try and get them to match even though you know it's probably not going to happen another point another tip that i'm going to give you with any pomade but in particular the one that i'm using now is the anastasia one your inglot jaw line i talk about this so much for so many different things this is the savior product of my life it's amazing it will just like helps with your liquid eyeliner helps with um putting down glitter it helps it so much and i use it with this as well so every time i need to use my anastasia dip brow pomade i take what i need from the pot and i put it into the lid and whatever is left in the lid usually lasts me a couple of days However, this does dry up a little bit. If you use the Inglot 77 gel liner or any of the Inglot gel liners, you'll know that they dry up a little bit. And all you need to do is pop a little bit of your Inglot jaw line into that and it'll basically revive the product all over again. It is fantastic. What I'm doing is I have popped this in the product into the lid and I'm kind of popping my brush into it. But what I'm doing then is just kind of flattening my brush either side to get like the excess product off and to kind of sharpen the edge of my brush. So I never ever ever start at the very front of my brows. I always kind of start just in or around here. This isn't like I suppose I've I've looked at brow tutorials for years and then just kind of figured out my own way of doing things because not every brow tutorial is going to suit every person and maybe you don't like using pomades maybe you prefer pencils I hate pencils maybe you rather you know a brown mascara like I like them but I need a pomade because of the sparsities in my brows and because 
I'm so blonde and when the tint is starting to grow out that's when I really really need a little bit of color and that's what this gives me. So I start here on my brow and you can even see how kind of sparse it is there in compared to this part and I kind of start at the top and I just pull the pomade through my brows. So I'm kind of more focusing on the top part of it and filling in the top of that arch and then bringing it down towards the tail. I'm pulling all that down and then I kind of go to the bottom part of the brow and fill that in a little bit there as well. And pull that down towards the tail as well. So that's it. I'm pulling this all through my brows here. And then I kind of start to creep a little bit then towards both the end of my brow. So I don't go lob a lot of color and pull it right to the end here because you kind of want that a little bit lighter in terms of product. Just pull this down along here. And then when I feel like I'm kind of done with this part of my brow, then I go to the front. And for me, the front part of my brow is basically me just brushing up the hairs like this with what is whatever is left i don't dip back into my product i just use that whole amount and then use the last bit of it on the front part of my brow you still have the definition but it just prevents you having a big lump of color at the very front of your brow and your brow being that little bit harsher so sometimes then i just kind of like flick the hairs up to make it a little bit more natural looking and you know it's not that kind of like harsh brow where you're like wow she has her brows like squared off and um, it just looks a little bit more natural and that's kind of the look that I like for my brows I like being able to see the hair strokes and I like it to look as if it's your natural brow as opposed to something that you plastered on so that's the easy brow for me uh, and this is my rebel child brow again I'm starting on the kind of middle bit here. I often wonder as well, because I'm left-handed and this is my left eye, I wonder is that why it's easier for me to do this because I kind of have to like cross myself over to do this particular brow. So again, going up to the tip of my brow and then bringing it down and then go kind of underneath. And again, for me, look, it already looks crazy. We'll deal with it. For me, uh, this tail is lovely. This one is a little bit more sparse. So what I end up doing on this side is actually kind of like flicking the hairs out a little bit to make them look a little bit thicker on this side. So it kind of looks the same. Like here, I just literally, you saw me, I just literally went like that and it was done. But here I do have to do a little bit more work. And I'm gonna go back over and do the same. And just, again, like I did with this, edging a little bit more towards the front of my brow and towards the end of the brow as I go. And then I'm starting to come to the front of the brow. And the same with this, I deposit the product and then I kind of brush it up here. If I sit like with no expression on my face, you're naturally gonna see how this brow very naturally sits, like this one, very naturally sits higher than this one here. Um, yeah, it drives me absolutely crazy mad, but if I pluck or remove any of these hairs, it just doesn't look right either. So it's kind of a difficult one to navigate. So often then I look straight on at myself and I'll go, that's really, really annoying. And I will kind of go back to this brow and try and maybe pull the color up ever so slightly to make it that little bit higher so it looks even similar to this one here. But they're just two totally different shapes. It's not as if they're the same shape. Like this one kind of starts lower um, and this one starts higher. It's just the weirdest thing. I don't know. So the next, Step that I do is I go back in with my spoolie and I kind of just pull the product again through both of my brows and this again just prevents any kind of like lumps of color just getting stuck this is my day-to-day -day brow so I'm good to go now at this stage and I'd head off however if I want a little bit more thickness and if I want my brows to kind of be cemented like rock solid like not move there are two more steps that I do that I'm going to show you now so the first step is using the essence make me brow this is kind of a dupe for the benefit gimme brow I haven't used the benefit gimme brow so I can't say it's good or bad dupe I just absolutely love this and I actually use this if I don't want to do a full makeup look I'll just throw 
throw this on my brows if I'm going into town or if I'm having like a no makeup day but I just want a little tiny bit of definition on my brows, this is what I will use. And it's probably kind of gone a bit now, I've had it a while. So basically, Make Me Brow is a little brow mascara. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this but it has tiny, tiny little hairs in the product. So when you get this and you look and you go, oh, there's hairs in my product, that's normal, that's the way it's supposed to be. I don't know how uh, many of you are old enough to remember when years ago L'Oreal had a mascara. And on one end it was white and on the other end it was your mascara, normal colour, blue, black, whatever. Blue, black, oh my god, I'm so old. <laughs> blue, black or brown or whatever it was. But the white product was like a lash primer and it actually had little fibres in it that built up and gave you longer lashes. And this is the same type of thing. So it has these little fibers in the product that kind of like stick to your natural hair and stick to each other and give you a fuller looking brow. So if I'm going out or I want a really strong brow look for a video, that is what I use my Make Me Brow for. This is not gonna cement your brows. It's not gonna make them solid. I have another product for that, but this is definitely gonna give you a little bit more fluff if you're into that kind of like fluffy brow. Start here. And this is great for me with the sparsity of my brows. Is sparsity a word, guys? Like, I don't even know. I just made a new word. <laughs> sparsity. <laughs> it's good for the sparse kind of parts of my brows because it does fill them in a little bit and gives you a little bit of a fluff. And I love, love, love this product for the tails of my brows, particularly this bad boy my rebel child brow over here. And again, I'll just pull it through the brow, but then when it comes to the end of when I know I've kind of used the majority of the product, I will go to the front pieces and I will brush them up the way. Again, that's just what I like to do, it's my style. I like having kind of my brow, the fronts of my brows fluffed up because it just gives a softer, natural look. I absolutely detest squared off brows. I hate them, hate them, hate them. So this kind of counteracts that. And that is brilliant. That's Essence. And I think that's probably like three euro on your Essence counter. Fantastic. So the last thing, if I know that I'm going to a wedding or I'm going out or I just need my brows to be like locked in rock solid for the day, the last product I use is a product from Rimmel and it is called Brow This Way. And this is actually a clear brow mascara, brow gel, I guess. And again, it's on your little kind of wand, like mascara. So normally I'll give the Make Me Brow a couple of minutes to kind of dry down, and then I will go in with this. This is this is nothing really to do with your color or anything like that. Um, this is just gonna set your brows down. But at the same time, if you have a style that you want your brows to go in, you can use this to kind of like manipulate your brows into that style. With this, start wherever you want. You've no color on it. So I will actually start at the beginning of my brow here. Um, again, be careful with this because like that, if I'm brushing it up, I don't want any of the color to brush up and onto my skin. So don't go kind of too hell for leather with it at the beginning. Just keep it within your brows. So again, I'm just kind of pulling these up. And this is going to make sure my brows literally stick to my face, but without looking that like they're stuck to my face. If that makes sense? I don't know, does it doesn't make sense? And again, if you want to increase the kind of fluffiness of your brows, this is a great product. Because if you just kind of pull the hairs out a little bit, it'll give you that kind of fluffier look. And I'll do it on the bold brow too. So if you're somebody who is lucky enough to be dark, who doesn't have to get their brows tinted, this might just be your only brow product that you use because you don't need a tint. So guys, this is my finished brow routine. Now it's not groundbreaking. It's not like people are not stopping on the street staring at my brows, they're not amazing. <laughs> but it's just what works for me with blonde kind of brow hair and brows that are like different sizes and stuff like that as well. So I hope you picked up some little tip from within that video. If you did, give the video a thumbs up and please do subscribe if you haven't already done so. I'd love to have you as part of my family. So that is it. I will see you in my next video. Bye.